Hey guys, back again, and today guys, I just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about Diablo 4. So as you guys know, I completed the game, I liked the game, I thought it was really good, the graphics are amazing, the story was amazing, bugbear parts about it is online only, which I fucking hate, and yeah, it's, it is a bad game for that guys, but there's other things about this game that I don't like. And it's only through playing it for hours upon hours upon hours that I've come across these points. I was about to get off the game, guys, yeah, and I thought, no, I'm going to make a quick video on this first. So, point number one is, me and Dork have been playing through the game, and as you can see, guys, I'm level 53. And it doesn't matter when you get to go up in the world, as you can see, I'm on world tier 3 nightmare. And I still feel like, no matter how strong I get, I can't defeat hardly anything. Because even though you're leveling up, your enemies are constantly leveling up. You never get to keep an even balance. It's not like you ever really get any stronger. No matter how you level up in the game, you still feel like you started it from scratch. I mean, you'll get people that are joining your game who's level 18 or 19, and they'll still be kicking ass like you are. But at the end of the day, you can't, you're dying just as much as they are still. And it's ridiculous. Like, it needs to be a, a cut-off point where you actually are strong with the weapons and stuff you're using, but you're not. But the thing that made me want to make this video, guys, is this, right? This is how disgusting we, I'll say we, not just developers, guys, we as people have made video games. And that's when you come onto the shop, guys. Let us consider the cards once more. So look at these prices, guys. Just for a fucking unicorn, for example, guys, yeah? Unicorn. 1,400 fucking whatever that is. Pounds, points, whatever, right? Now, if you want to buy this unicorn, you're going to have to fork out in real money 20 pounds and 99p, because there is no other one. You can get two for £8.39, so you could probably cheap it out a little bit and get it for, like, 17 quid. But 17 fucking pounds for a horse. For a fucking horse. I should be a multi-millionaire by now, guys, because I could sell people shit they don't get to see. I could draw a fucking... I don't know, maybe I should start getting my drawer and sold, guys. And I should charge people stupid money like I drawed Mario on the back of a fucking cigarette box. There you go. 69.99, please. A uh, cardboard cutout from a cardboard box from a Walker's box of Donald Duck. That's 89.99. Because that's the same thing, guys, right? You'd look at that and think, what the fuck? I could have done that. Why are people paying all this money for this shit? Oh, look at the add-ons, guys. 54.59 for the Father's Judgment. £16 for a load of shit that probably don't do jack shit to your game. £7 for a fucking... A fucking horse that looks half dead. But look at these cosmetics, guys. They're just cosmetics. I thought Call of Duty was bad enough with their cosmetics at £16 and some. But at least they're not £20, £30. Or what the fuck? We need to band together, guys, and get fucking video games back to where they were. I mean, I'm down. I, I don't mind DLC when it's cheap, guys. But how can Blizzard... How can the fucking company Blizzard think this is cheap? You think, oh, 2600, that's not bad. How much is that in real money then? Bang! So fucking hell! £1.79 for 200 of them in real... It's nearly, it's nearly a pound. Well, they'll call it what it is, guys. It's pretty much nearly a quid. One quid per hundred. That's ridiculous. It's fucking game money. It's beyond the joke, guys. And look, as you start spending more money, look, they're like... It, they make it look like you, they're doing you a favour, like, look, 2,500, but, oh, we'll give you 300 for free. For free! You're, we're paying £20.99, that's another fucking game. The, these developers, man, they're taking a run and jump, mate. They really are. 55 quid for a horse and 7,800 coins. Who gives a fuck? Like, this is, this is absolutely nuts, guys. I, I don't believe it. And people will buy this. Because they'll think, oh, I've paid all that money for it, so it must give me some extra fucking strength or something. These weapons, these armors must be up through the roof. No, they won't be. 
I mean, look at the character. Looks fucking cool. Yeah, it looks cool. That's about it. I can't believe they charge in 20 odd pounds for this. And people are paying it, guys. What the fuck, man? This is ridiculous. I know it's an option. You don't have to buy it. I know that. But, like, I know there's people out there that can't help themselves that's generally buying this stuff. And I'm, I, I pity you. I pity you. I really do. Because some people don't have a choice in the matter. They, gotta, they get quirks. They've got to have it. And it's like, it's fucking ridiculous priced. This is worse than fucking drugs, man. This is, this is a habit and a half. And I remember back in the day when DLC was a thing of the past, you know, when DLC was just the odd game here and there. What started off was Call of Duty and, ba and Battlefield. They're the two games that really started the, the DLC fucking ball rolling, really. There was no... Uh, I never heard of DLC or pre-order bonus for anything until they started doing it with fucking map packs and fucking this, that and the other. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely nuts, guys. I mean, when you add up 17 or 18 pound a month you pay for your internet bill, then you add on your PlayStation Plus or your Xbox subscription, whichever one you're playing on, then you add on the fucking price of the game at 60 pounds or more, then you add on all this shit, they're getting thousands out of us. I didn't know it became such a fucking expensive hobby, man. I mean, I'm not bothered because I'm not doing this, guys. But I'm just trying to show people. Do you realize how much money you're spending when you buy a game like Diablo and you're, you're giving in to these fucking this stuff? End of the day, right, you might think, I look cool. I look cool. People on the map knows I paid all that money for it. No, you look an idiot. You look a fucking idiot at that price. I mean, my wife come through when she see me looking at this and thought, oh, that looks cool. And I thought, yeah, it's a unicorn, kind of unique. She said, you should get that. I was like, yeah, 1400 hey, I wonder how much it is. And then I flicked across, guys. I couldn't believe it. 20 pounds just to ride a fucking unicorn around a map. Fucking hell, man. I remember back in the day, people wouldn't pay that for a car with 12 months MOT on it. Now people are paying that for digital shit. Where the fuck did it go wrong, man? Someone needs to tell me, guys. Someone needs to fucking tell me, man. I remember I bought a CD once. I said I paid 15 quid for this CD. My grandparents looked at me like, how much? For a CD? Oh, they'd be turning their graves right now if I told them it's 20 pounds for a digital fucking horse. The digital horse, 20 quid, guys. I'm not meaning to rant, but I'm just trying to make people aware. I mean, fuck, look at this. 55 quid just for a horse. I, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm literally blown away, guys. I didn't realise. I mean, I was only the other day. I was looking at how much some of this stuff was. But I didn't actually realise it's £20 per, per fucking outfit. You could spend three or four grand if you wanted to buy all this. And, they, and then they change it like, in ten hours. So it'd be another fuck knows how much. Blizzard's fucking main company people, you fucking top bar. I tell you, I don't know. You sleep at night. How the fuck do you sleep at night knowing we're all in a recession, can't afford to idly eat, keep your electric and your heating on, and here you fuckers are charging people 20 pound for a skin. That's ridiculous. Who's with me, guys? Who's fucking with me? Because that's ridiculous. If you have the balls to say that you don't mind paying all that for this shit, you need certifiably locking up, mate, because you've got a problem. You got a serious problem. You, you I mean, you, oh, I don't get it, guys. I really fucking don't. I don't understand. This here, right? This, in my opinion, is worse than a drug dealer and a druggie. Because at least he's doing it for the reasons he thinks it makes him feel better. What the fuck, man? 20 pounds for a fucking skin. And it doesn't even do anything. I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I tell you guys, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I really can't. And like I said, nobody would control a drug dealer or a fucking drug addict. Nobody would do that. You'd pity the person and feel sorry for the person. I feel sorry for people are buying these. Because this is ridiculous, man. I didn't even think it was that much. I see it that I didn't look at the prices, guys. I thought, oh, cool, 2500 That's probably like 189 £2. Maybe 4 99 at a tops. I thought, yeah, not too bad for the odd person. Then I realised this is platinum. And I was, what's that? So I clicked. And look. 
that's the coins they're asking for. Twenty ninety nine just to get one of these. Can I even get any of them for that? Yeah, you can get that one. Yeah, you can get that one. Two thousand eight hundred. Is that enough for that one? Just, just. So for twenty ninety nine. I can pretty much buy any one of these. That's ridiculous, man. Holy shit. I mean, people might say the same about Call of Duty, but that's, that's drawing the line at 16, 17 pounds, sometimes cheaper if you can get cheaper, but holy fuck, man. That's ridiculous. How can they even compare that? How can that cost that much money, guys? Where's the money going? What's it for? What idiot sat down at Blizzard and thought, right, yeah, that skin. How much would you pay for that, boss? Well, I think $17.99. Nope. No, nope. we'll put it at 20 quid. Yeah, that sounds about right. 20 quid. That's another game. Fuck it. And it's online only, this game as well, so it makes it even worse. All the money you're blowing in this game ain't worth shit. I, I'm fucking... Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. I really don't. I really don't. I'm absolutely gobsmacked at the prices. Of extra content that ain't even extra content. It's not like you're getting a whole map. It's not like you're getting a whole story added to it. You're just getting a skin. A fucking skin. And it's costing all that. I mean, the horse really got me, guys. Oh, look. You can have a fucking lamb on your back. There you go. What everyone wants. A little lamb on your back. That'll cost you 1800 How much is that, then? Uh, again, you'll need to either buy two of the £8.39 ones or the £20.99 one. Holy shit. That's a fucking expensive lamb, especially in a fucking game. But this horse, guys, that's what really got me. I couldn't believe it. it's going to cost 20 quid for that. I really don't know, guys. I really don't. I mean, I don't buy it, guys. I do buy the odd thing here and there like on Call of Duty. I'm guilty of that. However, though, guys, yeah, this is ridiculous. It's got to stop. It's got to stop somewhere. I mean, fucking hell. That's ridiculous. I know I keep saying it, guys, but I'm absolutely blown away. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I don't even pay that for DVDs and Blu-rays. I don't pay that for most of my games. Now, am I the fucking add-on? I'm fucking hell, man. That is... That's absolutely fucking... Not me flat on my ass, guys. I can't believe it. I didn't look at the prices see beforehand. I just saw 2,500, like, coins and thought, Oh, cool. And I thought you could get that in, like, doing missions in the game. You can't. You can't even get them coins in the game, guys. You've got to buy them. And at that price, that's absolutely fucking nuts. I mean, every game's got loot crates or some form. Even wrestling games. Everything's got these loot crates. But I never thought it was that. Do you believe that? It's too much money. That's ridiculous. Just for this fucking horse. I know. A silly... I want the horse to land in my living room and take a massive golden shit on my floor. Well, if people are paying that, that's ridiculous. That's but well, that's beyond that. I want Jennifer Aniston to come running, riding through on it, butt fucking naked, holding the Excalibur for that price. <laughs> that's ridiculous. 2,500, which equivalents to, I just said, look, the 20 quid. Ridiculous. Who's paying 85? I have no idea, but someone probably is. And the thing is, though, right, people will do it, and that's, they've got a problem. They've got a problem. It's not me being nasty. They have got a problem. People out there think that it is what they need to do. I knew someone that was addicted to gambling, and that's the similar thing as this. They, they, there's, there's probably someone out there that's generally selling his livelihood and everything to get all this stuff in this game, and it's pointless. I mean, I know, like I said, yeah, I've told you, and I, I agree. It is an option. It's an option. You haven't got to do it. But some people do have to do it. It's crazy. I don't know. Let me know down below, guys, what you seriously think about that. But like I said, the game is really fucking hard to level up much. I mean, I see people at level 100. How the hell they got there, I don't know. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm on uh, Nightmare Tier World 3, and me and Dork can't hardly really touch the items. And when we finally do kill something, it doesn't even hardly give you anything. So... We're miles away from leveling up. I mean, it just feels a like massive grind. It's a huge grind. I understand people want the money's worth out of the game. That's fair enough. But even if you were full level, you're still going to play others and others. I mean, if you were to get every character to level 100, fuck, you're going to look at that five years or more. Unless you're going to literally stay awake 24-7 and do this as your only game. Literally the only game you've got and play. Other than that, you're never going to get it done. But 
Yeah. Anyway, guys, sorry for the rant. I just had to make the video because I was absolutely blown away. It literally just fucking put me flat on my back when I realised how much each skin cost. I was like, fuck that. Hell, man, that's ridiculous. Blizzard, do something about your game, man. Sort it out. That's ridiculous. Just for an extra costume that does nothing. Fuck that. Absolutely fuck that. Anyway, guys, on that note of that rant, hopefully you guys understand my point of view of it. And, uh, yeah, I'll end it here, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.